All right, how's it going, folks? I uh, feel like it's been a while since I've done a video, but I just want to say it's probably because there's this crazy shit going on in the world uh, where people think that the air is going to poison them or something. It's almost like the happening, right? But uh, I feel like if people just took their masks off, went outside, and enjoyed the summer air, they'd realize that everything is perfectly fucking fine in the world. Um, anyway, I got a great video for you guys today. Uh, everyone's outside. Uh, I have the, you know, shades drawn so I can control the light in here because it is sunny as shit these days and almost like 100 degrees. It's nuts. Uh, anyway, um, I want to do a video today and it's a video kind of about something that I've done before. Um, so I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna introduce this right here. The Flaming Scorpion! Actually, we've already done this video, so I'm not gonna rehash that, but um, the video that I am gonna do is about something that is incorporated into this fucking knife. Um, the video that I'm gonna be doing today is for brass knuckles. Um, these ones are not brass. Uh, now, in the video, when I first did the Flaming Scorpion video, I said they were uh, some sort of zinc alloy and that if I were to punch something, it would probably crush uh, my fingers. Like, they would just collapse in on themselves, these rings. Um, I don't know if that's still true or not. Uh, it could be zinc alloy. It could be steel. I don't know. All I know is that's a fucking chintzy-ass blade. Um and speed holes for efficient cutting. Anyway, so I've never had a pair of brass knuckles. I always thought they were kind of cool. Um, so I went to this place called Brass Knuckles Company since 1999, and uh, they have, you know, what they consider the original brass knuckle, 100% pure nautical brass, and then they have one that's kind of a a step below that it's still like their original brass knuckle but it's uh made with a higher steel content and less brass um but let me uh let me pull these out so you can see these are, by the way when you go on this website brassknuckles.com or brassknucklescompany.com sorry brassknucklescompany.com um they specifically say that these brass knuckles are not toys and that they are to be used hold on let me pause real quick all right, hold on. So I paused it just to, uh, first of all, put that back in the sheath and get that kind of put away, because this video is not really about the flaming scorpion. We already did that one. All right. <laughs> this fucking piece of shit. Whoa! No, sorry. You know, don't throw knives around. It's unsafe. Uh, so these are the classic brass knuckles. These are the ones that I told you. I, uh, yeah, these are them. Yep. Um, these are the ones that... Uh, have a higher steel to brass content. Um, oh shit, right out the box. Huh? Oh. Okay, right out the box. Uh, whew, shit, look at those shiny fuckers. Oh man. Wow. Now, people, common misconception is uh, that you wear your brass knuckles way up here. Okay, do not do this because it's doing nothing but gonna hurt your fucking hand. When you do this, if you look, you see how, like, there's give. There's give in this, okay? Your hand can still move around. Uh, you wanna place it just right at the knuckle joint themselves, right? So that way when you punch, you're given a good, and you don't want to do like a, you're not like doing a solid straight, uh, like a straight wrist punch. You're kind of like, you're going to go like to the side, like a rabbit punch. Okay. Like you're, you're coming like that a little bit. You're kind of like clawing at somebody. Okay. Um, you can also come down in a hammer fist and, uh, fuck them up. Oh, uh, sorry, I just want to check, make sure this wasn't, but, uh, so those are real nice, man. Um, so yeah, uh, what was that? Oh, shit. What was I saying in the beginning? Brass Knuckle Company. Uh, BrassKnucklesCompany.com. When you order from them, it strictly says on their website that these are not paperweights. You're not going to see any stud in the middle or on the sides of these, or you can attach them to a belt buckle. Um, the box that they ship them in does say, uh, 
paperweight, but they do this just so uh, if they ever get stopped through the post or anything like that. Uh, the only way brass knuckles can be sold in most states, um, I hear they're legal in Texas now, uh, but the only way they can be sold or shipped to states is uh, as a paperweight. So even though this is a weapon, you have to say it's a paperweight. Um, okay, so those higher steel to brass content um these ones now it's really weird right because you would think that uh those ones are like their uh not their budget kind but it's like a cheaper version of their good ones um not to say that these are good because for what they are they're amazing most stainless steel are not going to be like this um like i said these do have some brass in them it's a steel brass content alloy type thing uh, but these ones, you would think that they'd come in a box. <laughs> but this is what I got them in. Uh, these are the solid nautical brass knuckles. And I'm actually really impressed. Um, they feel nuts. Comparative to these things, which I feel like the fit and finish is not as... Uh, like, see, you can tell if you look in there, the milling work is not as good. These... Like these right here are probably done by a CNC. I would venture to say these are done on a CNC machine and then maybe polished up by hand. I don't know, okay? These are all made by hand, okay? Everything that with these is done by hand. These are uh, not molded because you don't mold them, but, uh, you know, forged by hand. They're polished by hand. Now, these ones I was surprised. Uh, I mean, I guess because they're real brass, they don't have to be as thick, but look how thin these are. Is that not crazy? Look at this. Compare. Compare and contrast. Can we... Uh, can I sit that? Can you... Hold on. Is there a way we can... Probably not because it's curved, right? Yeah. Shit. Uh... throws away there can you see Is that the... look there you go you can see the varying thickness look at that okay but you know what too mm, okay okay the brass ones look like they're a little bit bigger oh boy um so I got these. These were a birthday present to me, okay? Now, let me tell you something. I mentioned earlier these are illegal in most states. Uh, they are illegal in Texas. You are allowed to carry them and use them now. Uh, crazy, right? Guess where I'm moving. <laughs> in most places, uh, these, along with uh, blackjacks or slapjacks, uh, sap, sap gloves and sap hats are illegal. Nunchucks in some states, too qualify under that um but if you're a cop you are allowed to carry these and use them effectively which is really fucked up right uh anyway vermont is one of those places uh you can ship them to vermont you can't buy them in state you can't make them you can't sell them if i were to use them for any other purpose other than a paperweight or to add to a collection that i had like my gill hibbon knife collection um then i could get in real big trouble Okay, if I use these for the sole purpose that they are made for, it is an automatic felony. Not even if I use them. Okay, if I'm walking down the street and a cop says, Sir, why do you have those brass knuckles? And I don't say I'm bringing them to a store to get engraved. And I say something like, Oh, I use them for self defense. Or when I'm walking down the street, if some guy tries to get up in my face, I'll just clock them with these bad boys. You know what that is? Automatic felony with a turn what is it shit oh i forget the law it's like no less than 10 years or a hundred thousand dollar fine in the state of vermont i don't know about other places like i said uh i guess uh they're legal to own and use in the state of texas these are nice dude. i like the fit of these things uh they feel now, see here, this, like I told you, it's all hand polished. This feels amazing, okay? But this one, you can tell it was milled by a machine. It feels like uh, some of these edges feel sharp. 
Ooh, right there. That's one. You can... Ooh, that's it right there. I could feel it when I held it in my hand. There's like... Yeah, that's shit. Dude, you could fucking... Oh, sorry. I'm trying not to swear in my videos now because I guess, you know, I want to be YouTube famous and you can't do that if you swear, but that really goes against my personality because I do that a lot. It's weird. I've been doing it ever since I watched The Rock starring Sean Connery in... What was I? I think I was in like fifth or sixth grade. So that's like 96, 97. Whenever The Rock came out, I watched it. And that movie taught me so much about swearing. Anyway, that does not feel as good as that. I think I might buy another pair of those. These feel so smooth in the hand. And the weight feels amazing. Like, like you know that you're holding something in your hand right here. And it just, oh man, these, they're still cool. Like I said, they're still cool, but it just, apparently they're both six ounces, but you can really feel this six ounces and this six ounces just kind of, I don't know. It doesn't feel like six ounces really. You definitely fuck some shit. I, it's all right. You could really mess some stuff up with these guys though. Straight. Look at that. Ooh, yo. Can we get that same? Oh, there we go. Shiny. Yeah. So, guys, this was a birthday present I bought for myself. These are some new... I don't want to say toys. I can't say that because using them is very illegal. So, they're not toys. I w I'm not going to use them. These are effectively something i don't know i don't even think i can sit on my own property and hit a heavy bag with these things like i bet you that's probably even even illegal too like maybe i should call a fucking there it goes again maybe i should call one of the vermont state troopers or something and ask him like yo if i hit a heavy bag with my paperweights is that illegal dude this feels so good i love this one i am so glad they got these back in stock i originally was gonna buy these once um, but this is the one I really wanted. Uh, first of all, it says it's the original and they're like 40 bucks. Everything else, these were 1887 and they got another pair that's 36, but they're not made by the same company and they're not covered. These guys are covered by the double lifetime warranty. Um, if anything happens to these whatsoever, it doesn't even matter. Like if I were to cut these with an angle grinder, all I'd have to do is send the two separate pieces back to brassknucklescompany.com and they'd ship me a whole new set. Uh, so, you know, whatever, right? Um, but dude, I think these are amazing. I like the shine of them. These things shine really good, right? But that's like, like I said, that's that, uh, steel, the higher steel content probably. But see, you can definitely tell those are machined. You see the inside of the rings? Can I get in there? Is that possible with my phone? Those are definitely machined out those lines and grooves that's from a machine trying to cut and polish oh yeah you can see it right there real good yep maybe a cnc maybe a uh, like some sort of metal sander press i don't know i'm not a machinist i work at a tool store but you don't ask me questions about taps and dies and stuff i don't get that stuff <laughs> I can sell woodworking tools all day long. Taps and dies? Get out of here. I don't know that. Look at the... It's screwing my camera. That's how bright it is. You see that? Do you see the camera getting darker? It can't accept the... Oh, it can't accept how gleamy that is. Oh, my God. These feel nuts. Hold on. Hold on. Let me... Uh, let's get out the old flaming scorpion. We're going on 15 minutes of me just playing with brass knuckles here. This video better end soon. Oh, I just cracked my fucking knee open with this knife. Oh my God, blood is dripping everywhere. I'm lying. It's fine. Yeah, see, I'm not bleeding at all. Okay, good. God damn, I thought I killed myself. This thing's dull as fuck, though. <laughs> These things feel atrocious. This plastic handle is ridiculous, too. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it is stainless. 
Anyway, guys, listen, this is enough of this video, but look at this. Boom. Nux. Knuckle dusters. Brass knuckles. The Devastator. The Classic. And the Flaming Scorpion. The trifecta of evil. I don't know. They're dangerous, though. These are not toys. Um, I probably can't walk around in the state of Vermont with this, actually, because of the brass knuckles on it. In this state, you are allowed to walk around with, like, swords, knives. I could walk down the street with an AR as long as I didn't have a loaded magazine in it. I'm not even joking. Um, can't walk around with these at all. It's disappointing, because this would make me the talk of the town. Look at this fucking... Oh, sorry. Look at... <laughs> holes for efficiency <laughs> so, sorry that was my first knife i think i told you guys that in the first video it was called the hungry hank man good times anyway guys this video has got to end uh stay safe don't cut yourself like i thought i might have done with this chintzy ass not sharp speed hole knife and uh hey enjoy go outside guys take your masks off get off the tv You'll see life is amazing. Have a good one, folks. Stay safe.